New at four, shooting at an Evansville gas station has left three people with injuries. This all unfolded at the on-the-fly gas station on the corner of South Green River Road. Now, one man has been taken into custody. However, authorities say more arrests are also likely. 44 News reporter Leah Malero has the details on the investigation. The large crowd that formed here at this gas station had actually been on authorities' radars all night. Evansville police say that they had several calls come in of large crowd disturbances in different areas of the city before the chaotic shooting. So we were aware that there was something going on, um, but unfortunately it increased to gun violence before we were able to get them under control. Just before 4 in the morning Sunday, Evansville police received a disturbance call at the on-the-fly gas station on South Green River Road. In minutes, it turned into a shooting. Three people were taken to the hospital, including a juvenile that suffered a severe gunshot wound to the head. A second victim had a gunshot wound to her leg, and the third showed up to the hospital later with a gunshot wound to the chest. While the two adult victims are facing non-life-threatening injuries, EPD says the condition of the juvenile is still unknown. One man. 32-year-old Luther Lawton has been arrested in connection to the shooting. Police say he was shown on surveillance footage firing at the crowd of people. EPD says Lawton is considered a serious violent felon, and he's charged with criminal recklessness with a deadly weapon, a felony battery charge with a deadly weapon, and possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon. One other suspect is still at large, however. According to investigators, surveillance footage showed another male shooting three times in the direction of the juvenile and one of the adult victims. Authorities say however that they aren't commenting on that second suspect at this time uh, from our aspect i'm not going to speak on the other suspect they were able to quickly ascertain a couple of suspects one has been taken into custody i uh, was taken into custody yesterday afternoon um, we do expect more arrests to be made evansville police say this was an unusual situation for the area and with the help of witness statements and surveillance they're trying to bring justice to the victims involved by people giving us statements and working with us, it helps us solve the crime that we need to solve to keep our city safe. This investigation is still ongoing, but Evansville police say if you have any information that can help them in this investigation, you're urged to contact them immediately. Reporting in Evansville, Aliyah Malero, 44 News.